What's up, y'all? The second season is beginning. This is Franchise Play, episode 19. Can you believe it? Season 2, week 1, Franchise Play. You! We started off tough. We're going straight to the SEC. They coming to see us, though. Coming to see us. Coming to Franchise Field to take on the Elite. Now, you know we had to talk about in the last episode who was going to be the starting quarterback. I'm sorry. I had to do it. Red shirt senior, Alexis Gant, all types of physical talent. He had a very up and down season. Yes, Lorenzo Finley is upset because he didn't get a chance to start. We had to talk about it. He threatened to transfer, all kinds of stuff. But man, I had to tell him, you got to wait your turn. And then, of course, you know we had Rudolph Green, the big time freshman. But we went with Gant. And look at, he's back to Vic Harrington with the big run off the right side to start this game off with. We see, you see right here too, we started the season ranked number 25. So you know what that means, right? That means that we have a decent shot of contending for a national championship. If you start ranked, you know, if you just keep winning, you got a good shot, right? We'll see what happens. Gant looking good early on with the pass right over the middle. 337 remaining in the first quarter. Gant dropping back, got people coming, but you know what? This is a screen. Vic Harrington probably should have went outside, dipped it inside, didn't get the first down, third and eight. And we ended up having to settle for this field goal. We made it. That's all we do. Three minutes remaining in the first quarter. All right, it's 2 and 11 remaining in the first quarter now. And if anybody's an Auburn fan, y'all know Clint Mosley. And he ain't really, uh, he's not really good. He's not really good. And there is our sack leader from last year, Van. Getting started early with the sack. Dump this pass off the Greer. We like to throw them fullbacks and them tight ends a lot. You feel me? So you're going to see a lot of this. Dumps it off. He catches it right there in the flat. Turns it up the field. Gets him some yards. Nice one. 38 seconds remaining in the first quarter. Second and nine. Another handoff to Harrington. Look at this. Uh, in between. Big time first down. Pulled down at about the 45 yard line. Yeah. We moving it. And I'm telling you right now. This is number 14 ranked Auburn team. And we, we looking good, man. Play action fake. Gant looking. Going deep. Oh, he got lucky. He really got lucky. Because that ball could have very well had been picked off. And you know that was the main reason why Gant was uh, having some problems last season. Now, I ain't going to say we took his starting spot because he was struggling. Because if you remember the episodes from last year, his starting spot was lost because he got hurt for pretty much the rest of the season. First and goal, sends Wilson in motion, hands it off to Harrington and his first touchdown of what we hope is going to be many here in the second season. He runs it straight on in. We up 10 to nothing. 440 remaining in the second quarter. The handoff. Oh, we hitting hard. Yeah, knock that boy the whole chest a loose. You understand me? Wasn't that the dude that just fumbled? And all of a sudden, he's been transported to the sideline and he's having a fit. No problem. Gant scroll, uh, is scrambling out to his right. He's going to take it himself. Are you kidding me? Gant is trying to make me look good for starting here. Look what he's doing. Opening game of the season against Auburn. I mean, this is a big-time team. I mean, I, you know, Auburn is actually kind of on a downswing right now. But, hey, no, no matter. Again, the run to the outside. Our defense is uh is playing well three and a half minutes remaining in the third uh in the second quarter and you see this is clint mosley being clint mosley interception by fowler taking it back to what is that about the 33 yard line he got a little hurt though i think he's okay laying down there on the max sign get up boy 325 remaining in the second quarter sending the man in motion again we're gonna run this counter because we like it and we're getting good blocking look at that blocked up front down to the 15, down to the 13-yard line. Vic Harrington, Vic, Vic Harrington told me uh, in in the spring game, which y'all didn't see, uh, which really didn't happen. I'm making it up, so just come with me with that. He told me in the spring game that uh, his goal is to win the Heisman Trophy and to win a national championship. We are gonna see if he can fulfill it, but he's starting off good. Two touchdowns in the first half against a ranked opponent, and uh, yeah. I think he's doing well. 24 to nothing. Two and a half left in the second quarter. But Auburn makes a play. Moves it down to about the 24-yard line. Clint Mosley actually threw it to somebody in white this time. 
219 left in the second quarter. He's back looking to pass again, but he messed it all up. The messed it all up. McQueen with the interception inside the five yard line. And we going the other way. A game. A game. At the end of the half, Gant. Uh no. That's why you guys benched before. Well, not really, but that's what made us think about it. We ain't gonna worry about that one so much. You know why? Because at the end of the half, you're trying to make something happen. We ain't gonna overreact. And we still love 24 to nothing, right? Four and a half minutes remaining in the third. Mosley back again. Now that one's just bad. Over the middle, he didn't see Fowler. Fowler sees that pay dirt though. Second interception of the game. Opening. Just open. And you know, he's a new starter because we we lost we lost guys in the secondary. He's starting now and he's doing well already. Two interceptions early on. 31 to nothing. Feel me? Four minutes left. Mosley back again. You got time. Fowler. Are you kidding me? Fowler. 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 Three picks, boy. You understand me? If he is not on his way to all American status, I don't know who he is. Little pass off to Olsen. He goes up the sidelines even more. Look at this day. Very efficient. Not a lot of yards, but very efficient. 12 or 17 for 144 yards. It's 40 seconds left in the third quarter. You see the play is called, right? I usually don't call this play, and this is why. It broke down. But look at what happens when it breaks down. Are you looking at Alexis Gant getting his Eric Crouch on all the way in for the touchdown? I, he, is he making me look good or what? Is he making me look good or what? All right, touchdown, y'all. Look at this play. I mean, this was this was pretty hot. He just completely outruns the defense 15, 10, 5, and then dives on the end zone. You know, you got to do that for a little bit of effect. 38 to nothing with 315 left in the fourth quarter. Gant back to pass, but see, got a little full of himself there. Got a little full of himself and throws the pick, but this one almost went back for six. They did manage to get on the board, but it didn't matter. Ultimately, we put a hot beat down on Auburn. 38 to 14 to start the season. And what's the play of the game? This, for sure. Gant, 16 out of 24, no touchdown passes, two interceptions. But if you just saw these highlights, you know he played better than that. So I don't feel too bad about him remaining as the starter. 21 rushes for 113 yards for Vic Harrington, two touchdowns. I think he's on pace to meet his goals. I do think that. I mean, he wants to be the Heisman Trophy winner. He wants to uh, win a national championship. Everything worked out there. Akeem Martinez, four catches, 40 yards. Didn't have a huge game, but he did enough. Going to next week, look at that matchup. At number one, Wisconsin. That's that's Madison. You know that's one of the toughest places to win in, in the country. Can we get that done? Y'all have to see next week. Look, there is Vic Harrington, number three in the Heisman voting. So he's doing his thing. Now, if you didn't catch it in the description, check the description. I put a little schedule in there, and it's going to be a schedule in pretty much every video going forward. Sundays is the day for Franchise Play You. Y'all holler back. Follow. Peace.